This is the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 6, verse 9. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. Kahalah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Real quick, I want to touch on this. What you just see, what you see on the screen, it says former ex Gucci man, a uh, main artist, 1017 rapper Lil Wop is now cross dressing. Okay, Lil Wop is now cross dressing. Okay, and this individual, you know, he, you know, was supposed to be this gangster rapper and some thug, some killer, and turns out that he's, you know, a, a damn mo, you know, a, 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 a total punk. All right, um. And this is his caption. It says, I'll be a bad bitch for you if you the right one. Subscribe to my OnlyFans. So this nigga got an OnlyFans now, man. And this is the individual right here standing with Gucci before the transition. And this is him now. Okay, a total abomination, man. A total abomination. Because when you go into that world, guess what comes out of that? Let me know if I can get that. When you go into that world, guess what comes out of that, man? Okay, the evil, wicked ways of Satan. Okay, and that, and that's what these rappers push. You see, this is the, this is the individual again. It says, "I'm bisexual. I like guys and girls. It's whatever." Okay. It says he like guys and girls. Now, like I said, this, this was a so-called gangster rapper, man. You know, a thug. You know, and, and everybody in that label, 1017, either done got you know, fucking prison time or dead. All right. And but 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 this guy got worse. He's fucking worse than dead. Okay, he 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 is destroyed spiritually and mentally, okay, and physically. I want to bring this back. Let's let, 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 let's go up a bit. It says First Timothy chapter six verse three. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even to the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, okay, so so it is all about doctrine. It says he is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and stripes of words. Whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil sermisings, per perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth. This man is destitute of the truth. You know, and a lot of you jakes that, you know, cl that, 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 that claim to, 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 to have the gospel. A lot of y'all are desperate of the truth, too, man. OK, it says, supposing that gain is godliness from such withdraw thyself. And that's what people in this world, they think. That having money, having riches, having fame, you know, that all, you know, a nice car, you know, jewelry, all that is godliness when it's not. OK, as a matter of fact, it takes you for, you know, further away from the most high, makes you more proud and ultimately puts you in, 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 uh, 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 around individuals that are of this world, which are very, very satanic and wicked. OK. It says, but godliness with contentment is great gain for we brought nothing into this world and it's certain we can take nothing out and having food and raiment uh it's like and having food and raiment let us be where there with content and let's bring it back to nine it says but they that will be rich so the people that, that get this rich and this fame here okay in babylon especially a lot of these guys they have to make backdoor deals they have to sell out they have to uh sit they have to sit on the black couch you know with these damn music executives to get those deals and stuff and then they get turned out man Okay, they get turned out, and that's all these rappers. It's not just him. These are all these rappers, man. I, I, I remember when I saw this post the other day, uh, a couple posts down after I saw this post, I saw another post of um of some damn some, some rappers. This, this rapper named King, whatever his name is, you know. And the nigga was was you know these niggas be my brother, my brother, my my my, my lover, you know, talking to their homeboys. But this nigga started macking on his homeboy, him some. Niggas was kissing and he said, Yeah, yeah. Uh that's how we get down. That's how we get down. You know, you had Birdman kissing on Lewayne and shit. All these niggas is gay, man. Okay. Y'all niggas is gay. Okay, all these niggas is gay. And um you know, and then and then a nigga tried to flip try to try to try to, try to flip the script and say, Yeah, I'll kiss him again, but I'll still, you know, gun one of you niggas down or something, you know, try to try to still try to be gangster or whatever with it, man. And ultimately that gangster thug life spirit and niggas being that shit is effeminate, man. 
You know, for a man to try to, you know, you know, hold himself as some big thug and gangster is something that you're trying to hide. OK, it says, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. So a lot of these men, they cut, they, they get that money and, they, and then they fall into them temptations and them snares, which is a trap and into many foolish and hurtful lusts. This is a foolish and hurtful lust for you to want to roll your shirt up and go on OnlyFans and talking about you, you bisexual, nigga. You, you 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 lost your damn mind, man. Okay, you you you, you lost your mind. And the Lord, you know, he 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 put this as a curse upon Jake, man. Okay. It says, which drown men in destruction and perdition. And this nigga is even worse because he ain't trying to hide it. He just up in the front when he said it's whatever, you know. And it's crazy because in this picture right here, the nigga lips is look, you know, is fucking black as hell. You see right here, the nigga lives black as shit. Now that over here, this nigga, you know, there's just some weird shit going on, man. You know, that almost don't even look like him. But, but I go to show you that the demons is on these people, man. When you go in that lifestyle, man, it's a demon on you. It says, for the love of money is the root of all evil. So if you love that money, hey, that's the root of all evil. The, not not the money, but the love of the money. When you willing to do anything for that money, hey, you'll just go and end up destroying yourself. It says... Which, while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. And that's what this guy has done. He covered after that money and he's erred from the faith. You know, if he did believe in God at one point in time, he don't now. Okay. And he has pierced himself through with many sorrows because this, this is all going to come back to bite him in the ass. Okay. It says, but thou, O man of God, those of you that, 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 that that's men of God, that's why you shouldn't be rapping, man. You know, you got Jake trying to be rappers and being the truth, nigga. What the fuck is you doing? Fuck is you doing, man? The hell with that shit, nigga. You see what kind of spirit come, come with that shit? You see how, how how many of these rappers the Lord has taken out of the game in the past two, three years, man? Okay? It says, But thou, O man of God, flee from these things, flee these things, and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and has professed a good profession before many witnesses, man. And it's, that's, that's what it's about, okay? Let me grab this. Let's grab this. All right. It says, second, oh, uh, it's like in Romans chapter one, verse 25. It says, who changed the truth of the most high into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. These people that, you know, they serve their own flesh, man. It shall be love. It shall be lovers of their own selves. It says, for this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vile affections. Because you don't want to serve your whole body, shy. You want to be a nigga. You want to be a, 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 a damn thug and a gangster. Lord going to put a worse demon on your ass, man. Now you go from being a thug and a gangster to, 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 to now you a damn young thug and gangster. Okay? A damn punk. It says, for even their women did change the natural use uh, into that which is against nature, which a woman is supposed to be bearing children. Be with the man taking care of the household. Now they they don't have children. They out here walking around. I, I had a motherfucking dyke at my job. I'm at my work. I'm at my job. My job now. But yesterday, my this damn dyke at my job was telling me how, you know, she she, she was pretty much saying, oh, uh, you know, f this other guy, tell him to to, to to suck my d. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, what what what, what, what? You, you don't got no. She said, no, I got I got I got, I got a seven inch, an eight inch, a twelve inch. I said, oh hell no, nah, man. You know. So that's against your nature. You're not supposed to be trying to, you know, walk around with, 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 with damn plastic dildos or rubber dildos and, you know, calling them, telling them motherfuckers to suck you. That's, that's out of order, man. Okay. It says, and likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another. So you don't want to get with a woman and have children and, you know, create a family. You'll rather get with a man and, and, and have, you know, butt sex and, and, and create STDs. Okay. Create new viruses and shit, man. It says, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemingly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. That's why you have these diseases, man. Motherfuckers be, you know, you, look at those HIV commercials, man. They always have two jakes on their hugging and kissing and shit, you know. It says, um, and even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge, the most high gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. So this ain't convenient for you, man. You know, if you and his spirit, eventually you're going to have to be destroyed. 
verse 32, it says, who knowing the judgment of the most high, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. That's the only thing that can come to a wop. OK, death. And he's worthy of it. He, you earned it, nigga. OK, you hear you probably, probably you probably got young Jake's that used to listen to him. You know, you got this nigga young M M B uh, um young boy. This nigga fucking painting his nails and paint wearing face uh makeup and shit, man. You know, and and they're leading. They're, they 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 do this, and, and they're getting paid to do this, really, because they're leading the youth astray. Okay, so it says that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in they and them that do them. So if you, you know, have pleasure in it, say say say, say oh, oh, I don't do that. But then I had a nigga tell me he said, hey man, I ain't got a hell of heaven to put nobody in. So so I mean that that you cool with it. You see these motherfuckers ain't right, but you cool with them. You can hang out with them because you because in your mind. As long as it ain't you, you know, they can do them. You you have pleasure in that, man. Okay? Let me grab this because he said he's a cross-dresser, right? Let's see what the scripture says about cross-dresser. Cross-dressing. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man, which women are wearing pants now. Like I said, the, the damn dyke at my job, you know, she, 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 she they cross-dressing, man. You know? wearing jeans when really a woman's supposed to be wearing a skirt it says the woman when when a woman wear jeans that put a masculine spirit on the woman that's why they say who wear the pants in the house if you if your woman wearing pants all the time guess what she probably run, run that motherfucking house man okay it says the woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so are an abomination unto yahweh thy power so a man ain't supposed to put on a woman's garment he supposed to be wearing you know Women's dresses and clothes and skirts and lingerie and shit. Nigga, this is gay. Okay? All that do so are an abomination, which is a filth, man. Okay? Let's grab this. I'm going to close out. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. So it's an abomination for you to be in the spirit, man. For you to be for a man to be lying down with another man as he will lie down with a woman. That is abomination. Disgusting. Okay. Leviticus 20 verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So that's what's going to come to Lawap and people like Lawap, you know, you have committed an, an abomination and you shall surely be put to death and their blood shall be upon them. If the missiles come, I guess what, man? When the missiles come, it's over, baby. All right. The Lord going to melt all, the, all this wickedness away. He going, he said, I will leave you there and melt you. Okay. So if you don't repent, which, hey man, if you, if you, if you in the spirit, if you're going in the spirit, if you anywhere around the spirit, you better repent, man. And you better pray the Lord have mercy upon you. If not, you will die and be destroyed here. With that being said, I'm going to say, Shalom, Kwame, Shirala, Ababa, Praise, let's be edified to the whole for elect. Shalom.